Jesus and his disciples went to a garden called Gethsemane. Jesus prayed, Father, if it is possible, take this suffering away from me, but only if it is part of your plan. While Jesus prayed, the disciples fell asleep. Jesus said, get up, it is almost time. Suddenly, Judas arrived with a large crowd. Judas betrayed Jesus by kissing him so the crowd would know who Jesus was. The crowd grabbed Jesus and arrested him. Jesus was led to the high priest. The religious leaders were trying to find a reason to kill Jesus, but they could not. The high priest asked, are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, yes, that's right. The high priest said, he has spoken against God. He deserves to die. The religious leaders refused to believe that Jesus was God's son. In the morning, the religious leaders led Jesus to Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. Yes, that's right, Jesus replied. What should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked the crowd. Crucify him, they answered. Pilate did not think Jesus had done anything wrong, but he handed Jesus over and said, do whatever you want. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they mocked him. Here is the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, this is Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again, and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom, and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in the front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. The angel spoke to the women, don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen, just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshiped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. The death and resurrection of Jesus is the center of the gospel. We deserve to die because of our sin, but Jesus died in our place. Because Jesus is alive, we do not need to fear anything. Those who trust in Jesus have forgiveness and eternal life, and we can joyfully obey him.